And that was my point, is that you have to get it done quick. So it's, you, you don't need to know that you're going to have a perfect haircut. you got to get in, make a plan, get it done, and when they start squirming, get it beef, beef done. <laughs> Just follow your child's lead. If, if they're not happy with it, get done what you can and get out of there. But let them be done, because they're not going to sit down for you next time if you push it. Just choose the most important parts to do. If, if they really need a bang trim, start with the bangs. And if that's all you get done, that's all you get done. And then the next day, try the back and, you know, just so on and so on. I made sure that the, uh, the perfect little child that we used in this video was ready to go. And I had my tools set out and uh, got him sat down, looked at his hair, figured out where, how much I was going to take off and what needed to go first. And, um, wet his hair down without drenching him, just a little bit on the ends is enough. And uh, I started in the back and worked my way around from the back to the front, uh, did both sides in the front, got the bangs trimmed where I wanted them, and then started, used the bangs as my guide through the rest to get the bulk out of the interior of the hair. And um, in the end, he started wiggling and we were almost done, so at that point a couple little snips here and there were plenty and then um, we were able to finish him up and get him out before he started crying. <laughs> when you want to cut the bangs, anytime, if you're just doing a quick bang trim and the rest there is fine, just get them a little bit wet, not too much because if, if you drench up at the roots and you comb it down, it's going to, in the end, you're going to cut way too much off and they'll be much shorter than you wanted them to be. So just getting a little on the end so that the little fuzzies don't bother them. Uh, comb the hair down and see where you want it to be. Get your fingers in there and just cut at an angle up. Just tip into it to get the ends off without, so that you don't end up with a sharp, blunt, straight line all the way around the face. So, and if you tip into it, you have a little bit more room. If you needed to take a little bit more off one side, you can take that a lot easier. Then you don't end up carving too much over here and end up taking more off over here. In the end, it all kind of softens up and you don't have to um, keep trying to get more off and fix what the problem that you caused. <laughs> That's part of the reason I use such a big comb, is so I can get a nice big scoop of hair and comb it down and get it into my fingers, which might take a little practice. It might be hard for some people to get a hold of that and know how to hold their fingers. Um, so get as much as you can in there and start with a little bit at a time. Maybe you just need to take a half an inch off at first. And then once you get that half an inch off, use that first cut at the back of the head, at the nape, as your guide and follow the head shape around the normal natural shape because it comes up over the ears and then it comes up again and frames the face so you just want to hold your fingers along and, and just follow the shape of the face using that first guide and once you get up to the bangs you want to comb that hair up and use the shorter piece that you used you cut from the bangs to cut the the layers in, just cut out the bulk, and um, the knot can follow through the rest of the hair. And the point is that you've, you've got a guide to go back to if you get lost in the haircut. And you are, if you always pay attention to the last bit that you cut, and using that to cut the hair too, you won't get lost and end up with massive holes. <laughs> Start small. If you're unsure of yourself, just a little bit goes a long way, especially on, uh, you know, from babies to toddlers. A half an inch to a quarter of an inch, which a half an inch would be, this is an inch, is from the top of your finger to the first bend. So, you know, somewhere in there, just a little bit goes a long way and just take off as little as you're comfortable with at first. Then the next time you cut the hair, you can take a little more because you saw the difference that that little bit made and you can feel more comfortable taking a little more off. Uh, don't get them too wet. Don't comb them down too tight against the skin. 
um, and take a little off at a time, even if it's just taking the tips off first, you know, uh, eighth of an inch at a time or a quarter of an inch, it doesn't matter. But don't, don't trim too much off the first time. Start with a little bit, shake them out, see how they land, and if you need a little more, then you see how much little more you can take off before. Um, and then always comb the bangs straight up, back up again, and just tip off the ends straight up. And that takes the bulk out of the interior part so that when it hangs down, it hangs softer and not such a bowl cut kind of line.